Hallelujah. You know, today God is going to talk to us in a powerful way. Everybody say, God is going to talk to me. Hallelujah. Today is a Sunday of change. Everybody say, Sunday of change. This is what God is saying right now. This is the message I'm carrying today. Laws produce culture. Everybody say that. Laws produce culture. Okay? Laws produce culture. This is very important. In order for you to grow, this is very important. This is one of, like, one of the most important things. Because for example, how do you know that you are an Indian citizen? How do you know that you are an Indian citizen? How do you know that? Well, um, I told you, it is by your culture. Right? They recognize you by the culture that you carry. The culture that you carry determines who you are. Now, this is so important. Listen to this, okay? Your culture is produced by the laws that you follow. Are you able to get that? Have you ever, ever thought about that? Your culture is produced based on the laws, not based on anything else. Hallelujah. God, move in this house today. So today I want, to, I want you to know what, what is God's vision for you? Are you ready for that? What is God's vision for you? What is God's vision for me? What does God have in store for me? What, what, what idea does God have for me? Ready? God's vision for you is to succeed. Everybody say Amen. God's vision for you is to succeed no matter what. Hallelujah. Oh man, I'm telling you, this is going to be a powerful Sunday. God's vision for you is to succeed. Everybody say, I am born to succeed. Oh yeah. Say it like you believe it. Can you? Again, I am born to succeed. I am born to succeed no matter what I am going to succeed hallelujah 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 oh man God made the mankind and he has made you so you can succeed turn to your neighbor and say there is there is no defeat in me Hallelujah. What does the word say? Where two or three members gather in one accord. That is the law given by God. Who, whatever you agree. Are you going to exercise the laws of God today? Alright. Then agree upon this. That there is no defeat in me. Hallelujah. There is no defeat in me. Listen to this carefully. God wants to extend his kingdom. Through you. Touch your neighbor and say through me. The kingdom work is done. Hallelujah. I'm prophesying that in your life. Through you, the kingdom of God's work will be done. Hallelujah. 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 Now, the, the, wherever the kingdom needs, wherever the kingdom needs to be established, listen to this carefully. Read my lips. Wherever the kingdom needs to be established, the kingdom people should go to that place. Ah, you, you're still not with me. You're still not with me. Wherever the kingdom needs to be established, the kingdom, kingdom people, who? Who? Turn to your neighbor and say, that's me now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's talking about me. Amen. Wherever. The kingdom of God should be established. You need to go there. Tell them, God, I'm ready. I am ready to work in whatever place. In whatever capacity. Wherever you want me, I am ready. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Paul said this. Many people don't understand this. To live is for Christ. To die is gain. Hallelujah. You know what that's mean, that means? When you lose your life living for the kingdom of God, there is no better reward than that. Hallelujah. Come on church. Wherever the kingdom needs, I am ready to go. Declare that today, right now. Three, two, one, go. Let me
me show you one verse okay let me show you one verse it might seem very ordinary to you right now but i'm going to explain that genesis 28:3 may god almighty bless you and make you fruitful everybody said that's for me what is that may god almighty bless me hallelujah change the you to me may the may, may god almighty bless me and make me fruitful the point is this most of us we think that being fruitful means having kids are you able to understand most of us we think being fruitful means having kids that's not what god means over here this word was translated from greek to hebrew to aramaic to english it means to produce 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 everybody say produce pro deuce what you are do inducing is a product of professionalism hallelujah are you able to understand are you able to understand you're inducing a product hallelujah what is that product that product is the mandate which god has given to us now listen to this may god almighty bless you what is the kind of blessing we see that in genesis 1:26 those five blessings which he has put over there i'm going to take you over there in some time if time permits may god almighty bless you make you fruitful how many of you want a fruitful life oh man if i die today right now i'm i want to be 100% sure that i have given up i have given it all i have given it all some of you are so afraid to give it all what what would happen if you die right now what would people talk about you when you die right now right now right now this second what is the testimony that people are carrying about you can you say that you have given it all man i'm going to challenge you today you're going to cry before you go if people say you have lived a good life god says that's good for nothing your life is so valuable that you should take out the fruit that god has given to you oh hallelujah turn to your neighbor and say let your fruit be established in this world let your fruit be established in this world make you fruitful and increase your numbers hallelujah increase your numbers until you people become a community of listen to this carefully god is looking at you as a community of people when we look at that word community it means a common unity never thought of this huh now this is what you got to understand the people who have the same set of beliefs the same set of ideas believe in the same laws you got to come become common common laws common theology common ideas common belief system common values common values that's so important in order for you to impact this world you got to have this that's the reason why i said uh, my family will definitely have a constitution because i have a vision for my family and you are also a part of that family amen look at this vision that god has for you i'm going to bless you and make you fruitful and increase your numbers until you become a community of people hallelujah everybody say god works in communities but in order for community to be established god needs to use me amen don't look don't look till sunday most of us we do this mistake we look till sunday so god can talk to you no god should talk to you monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday should be a day where you give a chance and relax 
Hallelujah. Sunday is just a day. So if you're following something, something needs to be corrected. That's the day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday is a day so you can impact the world. Impact the world. Man. Today I'm going to try this vision. I don't know how many of you are going to be leaders from today. We always dream of going to heaven, but that's not the way God has designed it. God has designed it the other way around. We got to get out of that, get out of that idea. We got to stop thinking that I'm going to go to heaven. No. As a matter of fact, God really doesn't like you to go to heaven. <laughs> I'm going to show you that verse too. Jesus says, it's better that they stay over here. It's better that they stay. Let them stay. I don't pray. I, he says, I don't pray that they, you take them away from earth. I pray that they're, they're over here. That's my prayer for his disciples. That's what Jesus said. We always dream of going to heaven. We always dream of the next life. What about this life? Why are you dreaming about what will happen after you die? God is not interested in that. God is interested in what will you do on the earth right now? What are you going to do on this earth right now? Let's all turn to one, again one of my favorite verses. Matthew 6, 9. In this manner, therefore, pray ye. The reason why I'm reading this in King James is because most of them, most of the people think that I don't know King James. <laughs> King James is just another version. Old version. It's just not as accurate as NIV, but I just want you to show, see even from this version. In this manner, therefore, pray ye, our Father, who art where? Who art where? Where is our Father? Our Father is in heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, holy be thy name. Thy, everybody say that, thy, Whose kingdom come? Heaven is also another country. What does God want you to get over here? A different country. Are you able to understand? God wants you to get over here a different country. He doesn't want you to get a religion. Why are you after religion? Turn to your neighbor and say, don't be a Christian. Be a kingdom citizen. Hallelujah. What did God say? What did Jesus say? Let thy kingdom come down to this earth. Let your will be done over here as it is in as it is in as it is in your country. Now look, look at this. Kingdom will. Kingdom will. Will is the law. Are you able to understand? Let your will means, let whatever you think be done over here. Whatever he thinks becomes the law. Hallelujah. Now listen to this. Kingdom is not a religion. What is that? But all your life you have, you have believed that you are a Christian. That's exactly what is called as wrong zeal. Wrong zeal. Bible says, don't be passionate about the wrong zeal. Be passionate about the right zeal. The reason why your prayers are not being answered is because you're only thinking religious way. As a matter of fact, in the kingdom of God, there is no religion. Even Jesus never mentioned religion. Why are you after religion so much? Why do you talk about Muslims? They are your brothers, man. Why do you talk about Hindus? They'll, you should love them. Hallelujah. Because when you love the Hindus and the Muslims, that's when you can show them what kingdom living is. Now listen to this. Why do you think God gave Moses God gave Moses laws? Laws. A religion doesn't need a law. A nation does. Hallelujah. God wants to establish the country called heaven on earth. 
Are you, are you able to understand? This is exactly what is God's vision for you. Establishing the kingdom of God on earth. Praying is not a part of a religion. Praying is a part of the kingdom of God culture. If you pray in the wrong way, it will not be answered. Hallelujah. Every nation is formed by laws. It is not formed by a religion. Turn to your neighbor and say, stop being religious. Turn to your neighbor and again say, stop treating Sunday as a special day. Every day should be a Sunday. Hallelujah. Why are we Christians so much interested in breaking the laws? And we again talk about the grace of God all the time. As a matter of fact, the prayer that Jesus taught was to bring down the laws of the kingdom of heaven. Turn to your neighbor and say, don't be so wicked like me. Hallelujah. We are too much. We became too fat with this world. Too fat. We ate too much of this world. We got to be on a diet now. We got to be on a fast on this world. Hallelujah. From this world. We got to be on a fast from this world. As long as as the laws are maintained, it remains a nation. As long as the laws of God are maintained, you remain the country of God. Only when you break the law, you are declaring independence. When you declare independence, the nation which has created you won't support you anymore. Your prayer won't work anymore. The reason why your prayer is not working anymore is because you're breaking the law and you're praying. Now, this is the good news. I'm preaching gospel again now. If you have committed anything that is against the law of God, Jesus says, you stop praying in your name. Start praying in my name. Hallelujah. That's the reason why Jesus says, whatever you pray, it will not be answered. Whatever you pray in my name, my father will give it because my father knows me. He doesn't know you. What authority do you have? You're a sinner. You're breaking the law again and again, 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 again. And you pray, God, give me money. God says, what money? Give me house. What house? Pray in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Those who are in me, when I am in you, and you are in me, whatever you ask in my name, I shall give. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to this. Is a community a religion or a nation? Touch your neighbor three times. Pat them and say, I'm not a religion. I'm not a religion. The society has stamped you saying you're a religious person. Politics. You should be a politician. Politics has determined you. Why do you think we are still identifying each, each and every person with their caste, with their religion? It is for the benefit of politics. Listen to this carefully. Whatever country okay, how do you know America? What religion is it? Christian. As a matter of fact not even 40% of them are Christians. I'm honest. 20%? Great. 20%. Not even one member of the church can even pray like you. Do you know that? 
but we still know it as a christian country it is for the benefit of politics the politicians want you to stay like that why do, why are you still identifying yourself as a person of that caste if the politicians want they can really take it away but they don't want and you are living according to the laws of them turn to your neighbor and say stop living according to them and start living according to god hallelujah laws produce community laws what do you think produces india laws it is the law that you follow in india produces india whatever law you are following is what makes you god is so sick of you because you're breaking his laws again and again and again and again and again and again he's trying to protect you again and again and again and again and again and again he says a man i'm so fed up with you laws are more powerful do you know that laws are more powerful than an army hallelujah laws are more powerful than an army and a law dictates the army it's not the other way around hallelujah as a matter of fact the earth is holding itself together because of laws law of gravity is holding the earth together otherwise otherwise we would be flying we wouldn't be able to walk we won't be able to drive we have designed our lives based on the laws now tell me laws are important or not hallelujah whatever laws you follow that's who you become your laws produce culture 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 your laws produce culture why do you think our culture is hindu culture because we follow the laws of hindu hinduism there's a reason why if somebody wants to get married we still do pilukutru pilukoduku chestam where is it in the bible we don't find it in the bible i was not able to change it but i am going to change it for my son or for my daughter now it is in your hands hallelujah it is in your hands it wasn't before but now it is in your hands but if you still follow the same old culture you're still following those laws hallelujah do you live for your future or for your past for your future the laws of god is your future Hallelujah. The loss of God is your future, man. Let me show the scripture again. Matthew 5:17. Do not think I have come to abolish the law or the prophets or the prophecies. That's what he means. I have not come to abolish the law or the prophets. As a matter of fact, I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. Hallelujah. I have come to fulfill the laws of God. Do you know Jesus dying on the cross has nothing to do with you. I think it's too deep. I'm jumping ahead. Let me complete this and let me finish so that you won't be confused. Jesus dying on the cross has nothing to do with you because it is a mandate that God himself put that he requires the perfect blood and flesh god himself requires that mandate he himself put it he said i require the perfect blood and the perfect lamb the perfect flesh so that through him i can see you are you able to understand so because of that law God himself sent himself to deeper huh? 
God wanted to satisfy the law. So God removed himself and he sent himself to this world so the law can be successful. That's how important the laws are. Hallelujah. So turn to your neighbor and say, if you want to be successful, obey the law. Ah. So powerful. Hallelujah. Now tell me, does your hard work make you successful or obeying the laws make you successful? Obeying the laws make you successful. Hallelujah. Obeying the laws make you successful. Most of us, we are driven by this crazy idea. Work smart, think you're intelligent. You're already intelligent. God has given you a brain so that it can function. Hallelujah. The point is, what are you filling that brain with? We are, we are filling our brain with too much of the earth. Too much. That's the reason why so many people are still remaining dumb. Have you ever seen wealthy people common in, on the earth? No. As a matter of fact, there is only one percent that is wealthy. One percent. In India, only eight per, eight percent of the people have cars. In, God, in, in, in the kingdom of God, the earth is gold. Hallelujah. Now, talking about the earth being gold, what would be the temperature in heaven? Just imagine that. These are the things you got to imagine. Because gold, if it's hot, you can't walk on it. But the road is gold. So what should be the temperature? Just think about that. Hallelujah. Obeying the laws yields results. It's what yields results. It's what yields results. I'm going to show you an example of mango tree, okay? Once a seed obeys the law, the law, the seed maximizes its, its potential. Are you able to understand? What did I say? Once the seed obeys the law, the seed maximizes its potential. As a matter of fact, the seed will do only what the law requires it to do. The seed doesn't do anything against the law. The seed turns into a sapling because it obeys the law. Because, because it, it, it can't work against the law of gravity. It can't work against the law of sunlight. It can't work against the law of life. Just think about yourself. Why are you not being successful? Why are you not being... Why are you not being fruitful? Maybe something is going wrong. Something, somewhere, is going wrong. Tap your neighbor and say, I'm working it through. I am working it through. I am working it through. Hallelujah. I am working it through. I will not stop. I am working it through. Amen. I am working it through. I will not stop. I will not stop. Hallelujah. I am working it through. I am working it through. I won't stop. As a matter of fact, Christ says, without me, you can do nothing. Let's turn our Bibles to John 15, 7. This is what Christ says. If you remain in my in me, if you remain in Christ and my and my words, Christ's words remain in you. Look at this. Ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. Ask whatever you wish, and but the main point is this: remaining. In Christ. Look at this. If you remain in Christ, your environment is Christ. Now what will you ask? You won't ask whatever you feel according to the earth, but you will ask whatever you wish or feel according to God. 
Hallelujah. The mango seed will never wish itself to be an apple tree. The main problem with us is this. We are wishing to be somebody else which you can never be. Hallelujah. Can a mango seed become an apple seed? If you pray, if you fast, if you worship around it, if you play your guitar around it, if you clap around it, if you wear a white robe around it if you look so sober this is what is happening with us we are filling our life with unnecessary stuff which god will never answer that is the reason why god is silent to your prayers God is opening a door and saying go that way you're like no 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 I am a fish and I want to bark are you can't God says I I have not created you like that I am a fish and I want to bark Fish don't bark I am a fish and I want to bark I fast I want to bark I want to bark I want to bark I want to bark That's it. it's not possible I haven't designed you like that you fast i fast and pray i find to bark i want to bark god says it doesn't work like that turn to your neighbor and say he's not talking about me hallelujah he's talking about the person that is behind you why are we so confused man listen to this carefully man was created to live by laws hallelujah man was created to live by laws if you don't believe it just jump out of the window and see what will happen listen to this carefully okay you cannot create laws why because the product never creates laws laws are created by the manufacturer who created the product hallelujah so don't create your own laws this is our culture sir this is what we do sir god says fool hallelujah Why am I saying this? Because I really want your heart to be changed. Matthew 4:17. First message of Jesus Christ. First message of Jesus Christ. As a matter of fact, that was the only message that he preached all those years. Let's read. From the time on, from the time on, Jesus began to preach, preach, preach. What did he preach? Repent. For the kingdom of heaven has come near you. change your mindset is what repent means repent means going back to the original thought pent means thought re means going back to the original what is god's original thought to bless you so the kingdom of god can be on earth hallelujah we can't believe any politician now that's what we say right metro or not we can't believe any politician now we can't trust any promise that the politicians give do we say this or not but look at the mirror look at your face in the mirror that's the song eh look at your face in the mirror and just vote yourself how many times have you kept the word how many times you have not kept the word the first rule if you can fulfill this you can fulfill anything is god is holy that is the law 
Worship the Lord. Why? Because He is holy. That's exactly what the Bible says. Worship the Lord. He is holy. Because our God is holy, you got to be holy. Because our God is one, you got to be one. Because our God delivers on His promises, you got to deliver on your promises. Are you able to understand? Because our God, whatever He utters, He stands on it. Whatever you talk, you got to stand on it. Hallelujah. 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 That's the reason why wherever you go, you attract people. Amen. You need not work towards it. That's what you are. You become. Hallelujah. You become. Have you ever wondered, I never preached on prosperity or anything? I never preached on money. Have you ever wondered why? Because law is the key to success and prosperity. Hallelujah. I'm always preaching you the keys that you need. But you're only attracted to the person who's preaching about prosperity. And you're never going to achieve that. Why? The Bible clearly says those who run after money, the money flies away. And the Bible says, those who, those who create value, money is attracted to them. Hallelujah. Are you creating value today? Are you creating the kind of standard that God wants from you today? I used to really wonder, when I, when I was 8-9 years old, I used to think God as, as, as a gold standard. Gold standard. Then later on I realized it is God who created gold standard. So he's beyond gold standard. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What standard are you? Are you still in the first grade? Or are you maturing? Are you maturing? Hallelujah. Are you maturing in the right product? Are you being the right product? Are you being the right product. The vision I have shown you. This is the only vision that God has for you. No other vision. God wants you to succeed. That's it. God wants you to prosper. That's it. God wants you to be fruitful. That's it. Hallelujah. God wants you to be fruitful. Now tell me. Are you going to follow the laws? Or are you going to create the laws? We are going to follow the laws. Why? Because we are the product of his, of his manufacturing company called Yahweh INC. I am a product of Yahweh INC. Hallelujah. I am not a product of, the, product of this world. So the, the, the earth laws don't work for me. Have you wondered? This is so different. God says, catch your hands, pray. Whatever you pray, I am going to answer. Oh man. How does this work? This works because it is the law from God. It is the law of heaven. It's not the law of earth. It works. Hallelujah. What do you ask in my name? I'll open it in heaven. The only point is this. Are you believing in the law or not? That's what is called as faith. Belief in the law. Look at the centurion, the Roman soldier. Just say it. It's going to work. He did not find that kind of faith in the prophets. Even in his disciples. What is the word that uh, Jesus used? He said, I did not find this kind of faith anywhere in Israel. That including his own disciples. He found it only in the centurion. Why? Because the centurion works by laws. And he knows that. The soldier knows that. If the king orders, it is going to be done. What a faith is what Jesus said. Obeying the law is faith. Hallelujah. I want to continue, but because we got to start the second service, so I'm going to stop over here. Hallelujah. Did God talk to you? Finally, I want to say, the law is to be applied in your heart. Where? In your heart. In your heart. 
a plate in your heart that means in your mind in your soul hallelujah you got to be the law that is walking amen you got to be the law that's walking man be we are a people who honor our elders we are a people who honor the next generation how many of you are dreaming what you're going to give to your grandchildren never thought about it eh you're only thinking still about yourself no start thinking what you're going what kind of life you're going to give for your grandchildren not for your grand for your grandchildren because the word of the lord says he a person who gives who gives a fortune to his grandchildren is a good man hallelujah stop thinking about this generation also stop thinking about the next 120 300 400 years this is what i'm dreaming so go buy land where it is cheap right now hallelujah your grandchildren are going to do real estate business amen your grandchildren are going to turn into politicians hallelujah amen this is exactly what god wants you to do let's all close our eyes just remember what all words i have spoken to you till now these are not to these words are not to hit an instantaneous instant fire but this is these words are to light a continuous fire a continuous fire talk to us god today thank you for using us thank you for protecting us thank you for letting your fire flow let your fire flow through us hallelujah my dear father these hands of god let this hands be filled with your word with your idea with your word with your idea lord let your spirit move inside us let your spirit move inside us let our hearts remain in you everybody repeat after me my next 120 years my next 400 years i dedicate it to you god i will start working on the next 400 years from now on from now on i'm going to die like a legend hallelujah i'm going to die like a legend not a not a jack of all i take up your vision that you have given to me and i'll start dreaming on it i will start dreaming on it let my dreams be fulfilled in jesus name Amen 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 hallelujah ఈ ఆరాధన మీకు ఆశీర్వాదకరంగా ఉందని నేను నమ్ముతున్నాను ఇలాంటి మరెన్నో వీడియోస్ వాక్యాలు పాటలు వినడానికి ఈ ఛానల్ కి సబ్స్క్రైబ్ చేయండి అలాగే బెల్ ఐకాన్ ని క్లిక్ చేయండి సో దట్ మీకు నోటిఫికేషన్స్ వస్తుంటాయి యు కెన్ ఆల్వేస్ ఫాలో అస్ ఆన్ Facebook and Instagram our Facebook and Instagram handles nli777 and ernest mahanti thank you